What's up, everybody? Dream Elements is not picking up a doof bot for some reason. Yeah, we're we're two thousand plus resets into this chat. We'll, we'll see how long it truly takes. But uh, we have the new. <laughs> I said just yesterday, like, wow! I, I hope there's a new outbreak event. <laughs> bot name like let why can't I put Badoof bot in here Badoof bot Oh well. All right, two, 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 three, chat. Not shiny. Also, uh, my game, Shiny and Pearl is still bugged or whatever, because it's still smooch em. Yes, Ty Tyler, I know. I know, man. I know. I un I understand. I I get it. But then I have to come all the way back out here just to get to Shaman. Like I cannot fly here. I have to go through Victory Road Cave to get up here. It's a massive pain in the ass. It's not my fault, the game just doesn't know how to function properly. But yeah, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Shaman Sunday. Or... So I'm calling it. <laughs> Copyright. Trademark. Patented. Oh, I didn't tweet about it. I guess I should. Did anybody sh get this shaman in this game? What are people- what, what- how long did it take people to get this? I'm just gonna retweet my own old tweet for Shaman. <laughs> Super Spring Shaman Sunday. So we got up to 712 for the shiny decks yesterday. Got some good shinies doing outbreaks, so that was nice. That was nice. What did I get? I got Electivire. Um. Glamora. And Cloth. Yeah, that was probably the best little batch of shinies I've gotten recently.
Yeah, I'm glad to finally get clothed on. Goodness gracious. <laughs> that was... that was painful. And the, the rock sandwich helped me get both cloth and Glamora, so... I knew- I knew to go right down to Area Zero to get- to try to get Glamora. After I got cloth, so... It wasn't one of those sandwiches where I had to, like, sit there and think about what I wanted to do with the rest of it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Shaman Showdown. <laughs> Except for Gordon. Gordon reigns supreme. This goes so much faster than- than Darkrai in- in Arceus chat. I really don't mind doing Shaman. This is honestly a- it's- it's even more easy than like, Outbreaks and SV. We're just chillin'. Kiyun Oon, as Shaman would say. But, uh, yeah, so the po Pokemon today announced, uh, a new Outbreak event. And it is... Uh, not an event for me. <laughs> uh, it is... It is not an event for me. All Babs. Bab quests. It's- it's just Mark event, too. It's not... I don't believe it's one of the ones where the shiny odds are raised. It's just for Marks. I'd be cool with soft resets. Well, that's what I'm saying. Shaman is very painless. This is not soft resetting. I'm not turning the game off to get to Shaman like I have to for Arceus and Darkrai. This is way better. It's not like when I was doing Registeel for Sword and Shield. Ugh, the Regis were so dreadful. <laughs> and only to find out that they were, like, locked. After I had already done 500 resets. Dreadful. Pain. What's up, everybody? How's it going? The Delta episode? Uh... I mean, I guess Rayquaza vs. Deoxys is kinda neat. If you didn't think about the fact that they have a child in an astronaut suit riding a dragon into space. <laughs> that was... a little bit goofy, but... still, I guess. Can't shiny hunt Deoxys though. Yeah, it's only some baby Pokemon. Oh man, we waited all this time for an outbreak event, and it's an outbreak event that I literally have every single Pokemon shiny. <laughs> My disappointment is immeasurable and my day has been ruined, but for real. 
I think I saw that and I audibly went, you're joking. <laughs> I I think I was like, you got you gotta be kidding me. Is that what happens when you when you start to get a lot of shinies? It's like, oh man, I have all these. That's crazy. Well, I guess for people who don't have the babies... Well, even then, it's not an event... I, I don't believe it's one of the ones where the shiny odds are raised. It's just a mark event. So if you're, like, wanting a let kid, good frickin' luck. <laughs> have fun with that one. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm not sure why Oraz was obsessed with putting your character in, like, a suit. Like, we had to have a suit to go down on- with Groudon in Kyogre. We had to have a suit to go into space. It's like, they wanted realism, but also it's Pokémon, so it's inherently goofy. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, man. If I fall swipe Shaman, I have plenty of... I have plenty of time to try to catch it, right? <laughs> Why am I so deeply concerned about that? Why why does that frighten me? Why why do I think about that and feel fear? They're charging $34.99 for Bidoof on Amazon. Always be careful buying from Amazon, chat. They sell a lot of bootlegs on there. Unless that's something you don't care about, of course. Or they're massively overpriced. Oh, Norman. Yeah, Norman can be kind of tough. Gen 3 has a few gym leaders. I don't remember how their difficulty was adjusted in Oraz, but at least in original Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. I, I remember Brawly's Makuhita as a kid. It should have 55 PP in total. Okay, so I would have like 50 some odd turns to catch it. I would have to have astronomically bad luck if I didn't catch it with one HP left in like 50 turns. I mean, I do have my Harvest Berry Pokemon on me. Just in case. Alakazam is so cool. Alakazam. Two, two, four, four, chat. <laughs> two, two, four, four, zero, one, three, Shaman. Well, Steven's into rocks. 
He's in there doing doing rock nerd activities. Steven's one of the one of one of the few champions that actually has like a hobby. <laughs> Ninety-five percent chance of catching it within ten balls. All right, that makes me feel better. <laughs> that makes me feel better because I can just bring out Smeargle. I really should get a Smeargle with like paralysis, but he just it just has spore. So you Smeargle with soak. The Smeargle of all trades. What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome to Shaman. Welcome to the Shaman Showdown. I don't know, I'm just overthinking it. I, I'll be able to catch Shaman fine. <laughs> I will probably go for a Premier Ball. I don't know, what's like the best ball for Shiny Shaman, chat? I feel like Friend, Nest... They're not the right color green. Like, Shaman's Shiny is almost like toothpaste mint color. I feel like none of our existing green Pokeballs really cut it, you know? They just ain't right. Heavy ball. <laughs> I want to use a heavy ball on Kartana. I think Kartana's the ultimate funny Pokemon to put in a heavy ball. Like Kartana, Joltik, and like Flabebe. <laughs> Those are the funniest Pokemon for a heavy ball. Um, why is there no light ball? I mean, I guess there is, but that's Pikachu's. <laughs> Heal or premium? Love Ball could work, I suppose. Shaman does have pink on it. But I don't think I have a lot of Apricorn Balls on this in my inventory. What a surprise. I don't have any- I don't have any Apricorn Balls. <laughs> what a surprise. Two, two, five, one. We need like a jungle ball or something with like a dark, a, a bunch of green. I guess there's the uh, safari ball. I'm gonna keep manifesting new Pokeballs for Gen 10. I didn't get them for Gen 9. <laughs> Maybe one day. The Sport Ball. That's a real shiny, shiny, shiny hunter's ball right there. The sport ball. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, too hard with the, the eight months. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back, and thanks for the good luck. I appreciate it. What kind of metal is Alakazam's spoons made out of? <laughs> Where did Alakazam get the spoons from? Did they did they appear when it was born when it evolved or when, when where did Kadabra get the spoon from Do they have to have a certain percentage of metal in them to work to bend Alakazam just picked up a, sp a spoon from the dollar store I'll be real tempted to use Abra on my team in PLZA if it's if it's in there. Which I figure it will, right? Because Mega Alakazam exists. Alakazam could be a cool psychic dragon. Like it has sharp toes. <laughs> Family heirlooms passed down from each, uh, each Alakazam to each Alakazam. I was literally just thinking that, Justin. Like, Mega Alakazam's weird feet. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Why are you doing this? You, you, it's bringing weird vibes. I haven't seen any leaks or rumors or anything about PLZA. I mean, nobody even successfully leaked the game before it was shown. Which goes to show you... a lot. <laughs> Yeah, it's still- it's still far out. <laughs> Why did- it, it's far out, brother. It's- we're still a, f a f good ways out from... Uh... Release. Baby stages and concepts? I mean, the game ships next year, so... I feel like that's not true. <laughs> like, game development takes a while. They have to have something already going, otherwise they would not have set the release date for next year. Yeah, and I, I still think it's like... This guy is probably a translator or knows a translator, so how would they have any idea what stage of development a game is on? Their job is to translate, if that is, you know, the case. <laughs> yeah, remember remember uh, the image of Shiny Eternity- or uh, Enamorous? And, uh, Spectrier? Yeah, that was, that was great. Oh, I didn't even know you typed out Eternatus. <laughs> I knew what you meant, and I said Eternatus anyway. <laughs> Eternatus. Enamorous.
All the more reason to hate an amorous. Yeah, that infamous PK hex tool. LOL. You really think someone would do that? Go on the internet and tell lies? I still see people posting rumors about, like, a secret black and white remake coming out this year, like... Nobody has any idea what's going on. Don't trust anything. <laughs> There's a secret third option. Like, we're about to be in April right now. If they were going to release a game this year, they would already start marketing for it. Exactly. Like, it's kind of incredible how people talk about games and just have no a actual idea what they're ever talking about. <laughs> it's, it's not a magical process, guys. Like, people never seem to think about it from the angle of, like, marketing and realistically how long games take to develop. It's like... <laughs> a magical game come out of sky. Fall down from sky. If any leakers didn't get it right, well, it's probably not ready to be translated. They're likely chipping away at it right now, so my guess is would is that it's not far along enough for the Chinese leakers to have seen it. Which is why we haven't heard anything from them. They can't report on anything they haven't seen. Well, I mean, <laughs> they, people can lie, of course, but... Yeah, what's going on with the- I'm honestly more, like, what is going on with the Switch 2? Could have plugged their leak. I wish. I would love to see people like Koo get cut off. But as long as the games are getting translated for the Chinese audience, I just don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, remember when, remember when there were, like, speculation that we were going to hear about the Switch 2 in, like, March? <laughs> hmm. I saw a really funny critique of that Princess Peach game today. It was, like... Because apparently, like, no Mario... No other Mario characters are in it. So they were like, wow, Mario's not in the game? Then I'm not interested. <laughs> Okay. Wow, I can't believe Mario isn't in the Princess Peach game. Internal delay was 100% true. Yeah, definitely. Nate the Hate giving us a launch date for the Switch Pro. <laughs> oh yeah, the Switch Pro. That's... Oh yeah, right, right, right. When When's that coming out again? <laughs> the Switch Pro. It is pretty funny how Nintendo has waited so long to release a new console that it's kind of broken people's brains. Yeah, he, it's a translator. I swear it's a translator.
<laughs> Zero out of ten, no buy. I mean, Mar none of the Nintendo characters were shown in any of those trailers. It was pretty obvious a Peach-only game. I don't know, those people weren't gonna play it anyway, so that's just funny to me, like... <laughs> Mario isn't in this game? Well, I'm not playing it. It's way too easy, yeah. That doesn't really surprise me. They, they listed Bowser too on that list of like, no Mario, no Luigi, no Bowser. Like why would Bowser be in the game? <laughs> like what, what are you talking about? That's crazy. Yeah, nothing's really going on. Speaking of Mario, I saw some more, like, discussion about Mario Maker 2. Why did that game flop? Did it just not add en enough out from Mario Maker 1? Was it because the online was so dreadful? <laughs> I remember doing a few online matches when I uh, rented Mario Maker 2 and it was like a PowerPoint presentation. It was a slideshow. Yeah, the mouse outbreak event is literally all Pokemon I have shiny already. And it's not a boosted shiny event either, it's just a boosted mark event, so it's like, ugh. Yeah, Urshifu, Zarud, Calyrex. Who knows when they'll ever be unlocked. We haven't even gotten any, like, GameStop distributions. That's how, like... <laughs> That's how bad it is right now. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's the spice that was lacking from Mario Maker 2. It's just like missing some sort of ingredient. I don't know what happened. Yeah, you can- you can get Lico Sprigatito, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'll concede that the babies are fun for Easter. Like, the baby Pokemon Outbreak event is probably good for... You know, n not dedicated Bab Quest hunters like me. <laughs> Although, I- I feel like it should be a boosted shiny event, because a let kid is gonna be so unfun. Like, if you're gonna shiny hunt the outbreak a let kid... May Arceus be with you. <laughs> may Arceus be with you for that one. Yeah, at least Scarlet and Violets are more consistent. Sword and Shield had a few really good events, but they were spread out all throughout the generation's lifespan. Like, Sword, Sword and Shield did not have, like, consistent events in the same way that they're doing them for Scarlet and Violet. But Scarlet and Violet has only started doing that recently. Like, the Outbreak event started with the, the, Clef the Clefairy... Which wasn't that long ago. That was like, what, September?
So they, they really haven't been doing them for that long. I have no idea why people do the raids. They don't ever give out anything particularly great. And getting a, a bland, non-shiny with a mark is not particularly interesting. What's up, train? I don't know, like, what was their last one? It was like, Iron Hands and somebody else. It's like... Why? <laughs> Why this? Yeah, Brute Bonnet. Like, okay. Thrilling. Like, Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise had a few Herba you could get, I guess. But it wasn't like it was outstanding. It wasn't like you get six Herba per raid. I would usually get a one or two. I don't know. I guess I'll have to have some copium after the, uh, after the baby event, hopefully he'll have a better one. <laughs> since since that one's gonna be a mark, a mark one, maybe the one after will be a shiny boosted one, and they can do Hisui Growlithe or something. That's ultimately what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for like a Hisui Growlithe or you know something like that would be spicy. All right, you ready? <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? I know. I know who it is. It's from Gen 2. It is from Gen 2. Cleffa? Mmm. Cold. It's an evolved Pokemon. It kind of has a lot in common with Shaman, now that I think about it. Now that I think about it has a lot in common with Shaman. I could picture it in the background. Alolan Raichu outbreaks. Yeah, give us more, like, forms. It was Blossom. Blossom. I mean, I wouldn't mind, like, Hisui Sneasel, too. I need Sneasel, Sneaseler, Hisui Growlithe, Arcanine. So any any of those would be, uh, would be great. <laughs> howdy. Howdy, howdy. Like, I could go back and just shiny hunt them in PLA, but... I don't know, resetting for outbreaks in PLA is kind of... Especially after the massive- the mass outbreak thing they put in. That really killed all my... My will to, to shiny hunt in PLA. <laughs> I don't know how I downgrade. I mean, I launched PLA one day and the game, like, broke. And I had to reinstall it. That's the only time that's ever happened to me with a Switch game. I didn't even do anything out of the ordinary. I literally just launched PLA to look in my box for something. And the game was frozen... ...on, like, the intro screen. That gave me a scare. <laughs> like... 
I don't have a ton- like, I have a- maybe not as many shinies as I have in, like, Scarlet and Violet in PLA, but I was still like... Oh god. <laughs> My Alpha Cleffa shiny, no! But it was fine. That's the only time that's ever happened to me with a Switch game. Yeah, the, the downgrade seems more trouble than it's worth. I hope mass, ma multi-mass outbreaks or whatever they're called, please don't bring those back to PLZA. Did not like those. <laughs> really? Really did not like those. Please. Please, uh, don't ever do that again. Yeah, the only thing that Ku or any of the leakers have said that has been even a little bit interesting is that supposedly we're getting a new Pokemon movie. Because it has been a while since the Zerud movie. But we haven't heard or seen or anything leaked about that whatsoever. Oh, get- Uh, what happened to the eight mythical? <laughs> Great question. The mass outbreaks? I don't like the rainstorm. I don't like having to feed the munchlax berries. It's just- I just don't like the system whatsoever. I really preferred the old style outbreaks. Like, it overwrites other outbreaks that I'd be interested in. Chad, if you want to buy glasses online for cheap, go to, like, Firmu or Zenny. You can get prescription glasses for, like, $30. Especially if you have a good coupon, you can probably get them cheaper. Pro glasses tip. If you don't know what your prescription is, uh, well, that would be bad. You couldn't order any. But you could probably contact your eye doctor and get your prescription sent to you. I had my eyes checked a few months ago and it was just written out for me. I have a copy of it. Like all the all the glasses places that charge like hundreds of dollars for glasses. Pass. <laughs> no thanks. It forces you to catch every Pokemon even in the outbreaks even if you don't want to. I think that's just how PLA outbreaks work in general, right? Speaking of glasses, I'm <laughs> I'm cleaning mine. I mean, the last time I played PLA, I got Monferno. Which, it's funny that I've gotten two shiny Monferno <laughs> from PLA. <laughs> I need Chimchar. I, I gotta have Chimchar Outbreak show up in SV. At some point.
There's a good amount of Pokemon I could get from PLA that I still need. I need Onyx Shiny, Hisui Sneasel, Hisui Growlithe. A lot of the Gen 4 ones I don't need. Like, when I'm thinking about a lot of the outbreaks... I have my chop. Like... I don't know, PLA doesn't have a great pool of Pokemon. So you run into a lot- a lot of the same stuff. When it looked like that. <laughs> Not a fan of the, uh... My Sims aesthetic. Yeah, if you get your eyes checked, just get a copy of your prescription and then you could enter it into any of the websites online and- and get glasses online for way cheaper. My Sims PTSD. Do I think PLZA will have more than 242 Pokemon? I kind of hope so. Like, Gen 6 is not a big gen. I hope we have some other... some other mons in there. Maybe bring back a lot of Pokemon we haven't really seen much of. Maybe, like, the elemental monkeys. <laughs> I don't know, Pat Rat, Watch Hog, a few Gen 5 folks. Maybe things like, uh, Beedrill. Gen 6's regional decks was massive. Yeah, hopefully we get a lot of good returning Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, more. Here comes Slowpoke, Shinx, Starly, Psyduck, Gyarados. <laughs> Guess who's back? Meowth. Lucario, Gardevoir, Gengar. Yeah, all Kalos Pokemon should be back. Thanks for the good luck, Scyther. All all Kalos Pokemon should be back in back back in town. Yeah, Zenny or Furmu, chat, if you're looking for glasses. Zenny just shows you the price of the frame, though. They don't show you the full prescription price, but Firmu does. I've liked glasses from both, though. No Starly, no buy. Spell that, I can do you better. I can link it. There's Furmu. And... There's Zenny. When- what Pokémon will get new Evos or forms? I just said that the other day. I'm like, who's gonna be the next Ursa Luna? Ursa Luna is such a good one, isn't it? I really love Ursa Luna. Yeah, we need another Basque Legion or an Ursa Luna, and hopefully not a Hisui Avalug. <laughs> I really want to know, like, what? how are they gonna decide... Are we gonna get regional forms and Mega Evolutions, or like 50-50, more Megas, less regionals, no regionals, all Megas? Like how... How is that gonna work? 
I really like Blood Moon too. Like Ursaluna was already great, and then they introduced Blood Moon. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. On what your prescription is. Yeah, so I think they just show you the price of the frame of the glasses, and then after you put your prescription in, they'll show you the full price. Which is usually like... 20 bucks more. Unless you need some sort of like, specialty lenses... It shouldn't be that much more. Unless you need like, bifocals or... Again, some sort of, like, special lens. It shouldn't be that much more. The concept of Ursaluna, but you wish it didn't look so dopey. You think Ursaluna looks dopey? <laughs> I don't know what they were cooking with his Sui Gudra. Four more Charizard Megas. I promise you, chat, Charizard Z is going to happen. I like fully 100%. Shanala with the 37 months! Thank you, thank you! Hello. Listen to the bot go. Hello. Hello. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty. Thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. The bot's trying to make me lose count. <laughs> the bot's trying to make me lose count. Crafty bot. Shanala, thanks for the 37 months. I appreciate it. <laughs> the bot's trying to distract me. Mark my words, chat, we will get another Charizard Mega Evolution. I have no doubt in my mind. No, no doubt. <laughs> I actually am like 100%... 100%... We're getting another Charizard. We're getting another one. Mega Charizard Z will channel G Max Charizard. That could actually be kind of cool. I like G Max Charizard. That could actually be kind of cool. I've seen a lot of neat fan art of. Of Charizard Z. What's up, Midnight? You haven't missed much. My favorite one was probably like, uh, it kind of made Charizard look like Maleficent. It had a lot of green in it, invoking Zygarde, which was pretty neat. I saw one that didn't have any wings. It was just like a wormy, a wormy Charizard. Wish Cash. They should give Wish Cash a Mega Evolution. Mega Wish Cash is just the W on Wish Cash's head becomes humongous. It's just a ginormous W. That's the only thing that changes. I hope- I hope they decide to pick more unique Pokémon for Megas instead of just the popular, marketable ones. It becomes M for Mega. <laughs> Mega Fur for- I'd love to see them do some Gen 6 Pokémon.
It's gonna be weird. Like, what if they do, like, Mega Sko villain? <laughs> Mega Golden Go. Mega Don Dozo. What if they do recent Pokemon? Ooh, they should give Pangoro something. Pangoro is such a cool Pokemon. Radicate. <laughs> we just pretend a Lolan Radicate doesn't exist. Mega Golden Go could be like on a ginormous pile of gold, like Scrooge McDuck's vault. It's just Golden Go, but on a humongous pile of cash. What about Drift Blim? You said hot air balloon. I feel like Drift Blim could get a really cool mega evolution. How have they never done anything with Drift Blim? Alolan Raticate is one of your favorite Pokemon ever? Why? <laughs> mega Spiro. Now we're cooking. Yeah, it goes full blimp. Drift Bloom really is cool. There's a ton of ghost types that could get really cool mega evolutions. Trevenant, Gorgeist, Delmise. Can you imagine Mega Delmise? <gasps> that could go so hard. Evital X and Xerneas Y. I I have one fear though, chat. PLA gave us Origin, Dialga, and Palkia. And I don't like them. <laughs> what if what if Xerneas turns into just like a no-legged abomination or they just take away its antlers? What if they make it bald? And Zygarde just becomes like ugly polygons. <laughs> I'm frightened. And which legendary trio are they going to add another member to? Because they gave us another genie in PLA. Are we going to get another lake guardian? A new Reggie? A new bird? A new beast? Another sword of justice? Becomes a scythe and Xerneas becomes tree-shaped. Evital becoming a Grim Reaper would go extremely hard. I mean, it is the Pokemon embodiment of death. How does Evital, like, walk? It's got a funny shaped body. It really is a shame that they're not in SV. So you could watch Evital kind of wander around on its little feet. Guy's kind of goober shaped. Yeah, it has a big old tail and little tiny legs. That said, I love Xerneas, Evital, and Zygarde. I think they're all really cool. Maybe they'll th their themes will actually be properly explored, huh? <laughs> Instead of having some crazy orange-haired freak just talk about Cleansing the world or whatever. Who's gonna be the villain? Are we gonna have another twist villain or is there gonna be like a... 
an obvious, as obvious as Lysander was back in Gen 6. What if it takes place back in time and we have to fight AZ in the war? <laughs> Yeah, there's no way AZ won't be in it. Like, he's an immortal guy. If it takes place in the future, he'll still be alive. And if it takes place in the past, he'll- he will be there. Such a passionate man. <laughs> Sycamore is the biggest Lysander simp. Such a passionate man. Is that- is that what we're calling it these days? I saw a compelling argument somebody had about how Floet is like a paradox Pokemon. Which was pretty cool. Go back to playing Power World. Power World better update soon. When is that raid event launching? The game needs more content. Do you think he'll say the thing, chat? Maybe he'll be like, it's been 3,000 years. <laughs> could be an ancient paradox. Yeah, it legitimately could be. Mega Florgis. They should do something with Florgis, unironically. There's a lot of Gen 6 Pokemon that'd be really cool. Halucha. I really want to see them do something with Furfrow or Go Goat. I really would love to know what the original plan was for AZ's Fluette because they clearly had to have one. Otherwise, they would not have programmed it into the game. So what... happened? <laughs> what... what happened there? What went wrong? Why didn't they give it to us? Why didn't they just... why didn't they give it to us? Battle Tower. Yeah, I wonder if they're gonna bring all those, uh, ladies back. We haven't- when's the last time there was a Battle Tower? Oh my god. <laughs> like a Pokemon relic at this point. Someone trading you an AZ Floette? That's funny. What's up, H-Rod? And it challenges you to a battle. Oh yeah, I forgot about Sword and Shield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to go and fight Leon to unlock the, uh, the judge function. Was there any other purpose in fighting, in, in doing that tower? Also, 23-23. Yeah, it was bare bones. Absolutely. The only thing it had was Leon in like a different outfit. And you got the judge function. And it had that cool Toby Fox song. That's it. Twenty-three, twenty-four. You get a ribbon for beating him in the battle tower? <laughs> Today I learned. Hmm. 
Yeah, I straight up forgot that existed. What's everybody's favorite, like, battle tower, battle frontier from Pokemon? I'll always love the Battle Frontier from Emerald. I do like Platinum's Battle Frontier a lot too, actually. I've been kind of wanting to revisit it in Platinum. I remember the tower in Crystal too. Yeah, it'd be like that. I can't get over this flat ground. Ground. I don't know why I said it like that. This flat ground that we're on in this... Everything is just so static. There's no wind. The background doesn't move. I don't think the clouds move. I don't think the water moves. Everything outside of the Pokemon models in my character is static in the fight. Wish Battle Towers had more rewards or incentive. That's a problem. I really need people to start discussing this more in Pokemon. Pokemon has nothing to work towards. There's nothing exciting about finding, like, a Comet Shard in Scarlet and Violet. There's nothing exciting about, like, TMs and stuff anymore. There's no armor, there's no weapons, there's nothing exciting to find or work towards with Pokemon. Yeah, shiny hunting is basically it for me as well. It's like all the items you can just buy. It definitely has, like, an incentive problem. There's no incentive to explore the open world. Like, it's just the same Pokémon. Again and again and again. A few static spawns, I guess. The same boring items. Thought I did this six days ago? I did! And I didn't get it, so I'm back at it. What kind of incentive would I give if I could? See, that's the question, isn't it? I... I don't know. Like, cosmetics? Like, it's not like Zelda, where you can get weapons or armor or heart containers or anything like that. Like, what- what could you put? I'm not saying it's an- <laughs> it's an easy solution. Yeah, there's no secrets. Like, a few caves with winding paths and... ...one bum item at the end, it's like, who cares? Yeah, skill trees? They've been trying to do more crafting stuff. Better craftables?
Yeah, nothing feels rare in Scarlet and Violet. Lucario doesn't feel rare. Garchomp doesn't feel rare. Pseudos are not rare anymore. Friendship evolutions, they're just walking around. Scizor, no problem. He's just there. No survival stuff. Their crafting was very bare bones in PLA. I wonder if they'll expand on it. Didn't find uh, picking up like, what, what was it, like leaks that exciting? It's definitely, like, <laughs> it's tough. I don't know what to really... It could have worked in Scarlet and Violet if there was, like, picnic upgrades. They need some sort of system that you can upgrade. Yeah, I'd rather buy Pokeballs, too. Like, it was satisfying to craft, like, 77 whatever balls from PLA. But, like, it's also just way easier to just buy them. Yeah, that's a good point, Cacturn. Like, if everything is in a city, like, where's the grassy fields and stuff where you would get the leaks or whatever? <laughs> How do you get resources? from a city outside of, like, trash, <laughs> sewage water. <laughs> Giving the player a home base, they can change and upgrade. Yes, I agree. Having a little home base where you could have, like, berry plants and you can put polka dolls and stuff, just like, you know, you used to be able to in older Pokemon games. Remember secret bases? Hell, you could put polka dolls in your room in Gen 2. I don't know, maybe things like... You know how you have, like, the sassy poses from Blueberry DLC? What about more stuff like that where you can more what's the what's the word I'm, intimately <laughs> way more ways that you could craft your character to be more interesting whether it's the way you throw a pokeball or maybe they could have like sims walk cycles stuff like yeah more person 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 personalize i can't speak today personalize <laughs> Because I really don't enjoy having to go to, like, a specific shop in Scarlet and Violet to get, like, a, a certain glove or a backpack. It would be much more satisfying to have them out in the world that I could go get. Forklift certified. Yeah, in Shenmue 1, you used to get, like, Sonic figures from the Gachapon machine. Did anybody see that Sonic mobile game that leaked, by the way? It straight up has Toy Story's logo. What were they doing? Thought you could no longer get the Shaman event? You can't. I've had this saved. Differentiating between fun and frustrating? Absolutely.
It'd be fun if Pokeballs were fully customizable. Like you could do colors and different spray paints or like rock textures, stuff like that. Yeah, I have Arceus, Darkrai, and Shaman all sitting around waiting to be shiny. I think if they tried to put microtransactions in, that would go over, like, a five billion ton of bricks. I don't think people would put up with that. Although, Pokemon fans are something else sometimes, so maybe they would. <laughs> wow, criticizing their microtransactions? What is this toxic? You're just toxic. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to buy the Ultra Special Charizard. You don't have to buy it. Let people have fun. <laughs> That's always the most, like, copium-ass answer. Let people enjoy it. <laughs> Anytime you see someone say that, chat, it's over. It's legitimately over. Or if they say it's for the fans. Uh, they're only charging 50 bucks for this shiny for the fans. They made it for the fans. Yeah, the microtransactions are just a form of environmental storytelling. <laughs> oh god, the way Pokemon fans would twist themselves into pretzels to try to cover for that. <laughs> wow, why don't you just let people have fun? I, I can see it clear as day. <laughs> I don't think you can get Shaman anymore, unfortunately. It was only available for like a month or two after BDSP came out, and if you didn't download it, I think you're out of luck, which is very dumb. It should not have been as limited as it was. Hate that Pogo exists. I swear to you that they're not putting mythicals available, so you have to get them shiny from Pogo. I'm putting my tinfoil hat on for that one. Yeah, you can get Shaman in PLA, but it can't be shiny. This is the only game... ...at least on the Switch where you can get it shiny. Yeah, you can get it in Poco. <laughs> I don't know why they made it so limited. It's like, don't you want people to continue to buy your games? I don't think Game Freak seems to realize how many sales they miss out on when sh things are shiny locked. Or maybe they do and they just don't care. Oh yeah, every time you buy a ticket for a shiny mythical in Pogo, be ready to go on the world's longest, most rough, awful garbage chore list of all time. You're paying for the privilege to suffer and do the world's worst tasks for over a year, probably, before you get your mythical. Yeah, same, Cacturn. Turn. 
And I don't even count it. I don't have Mew marked on my shiny tracker because I don't count Pogo shiny, so... There's... How many... 10, 15 dollars I'll never get back. I essentially just flushed it down the toilet. Lit it on fire. Locking in main games and forcing you to get these Pokemon Shiny and Pogo. Yes, they absolutely are. They absolutely are. I feel like it's clear as day to me. It's sinister. Am I going to get Mew from Emerald? Uh, probably not, Midnight. I'll have to wait for... God knows when they'll ever release it in the future. I'm surprised Pogo hasn't introduced other Pokeballs and been like, that'll be $5, please. Oh, you want to use a friend ball? That'll be $5, please. The, just the way the game is run is so fascinating to me. There's so many different ways they could get money. Like again, the fact that it's taken them eight years to finally add more customization options. And then they look like that. <laughs> they look like characters look like so off model. I'm surprised they haven't done that for Unite, where it's like, pay $50 for a roll in our lottery machine where you can get a shiny Ninetales. They are running an autopilot, absolutely. And yet people are- people still give them money. People still forking over big buck- big bucks. Gotta wail out. Why do we think clothing customization went backwards so much? I mean, the school uniforms definitely... <laughs> I mean, it's always like one step forward, one step back with them, but I definitely don't think the school uniforms helped. So you barely spend any time in school and they force you to wear a uniform the entire game. That's crazy. Well, they did! One of the big Pokemon designers designed the male and female trainers for Pogo. But now that they've added customizing, They've gone wildly off-model. They don't look like the original... art anymore. I don't know, it's like, how many times can I see brown-haired male protagonist and brown-haired female protagonist in Pokemon games? They kind of all are starting to blend together. I really wish they would choose- like, why can't we have another Serena or something? Remember Chris? Chris, my beloved? Yeah, I guess if, uh, Serena and Callum are back as future past versions, I kind of wish they would just go with an original character. Is that a hot take? Like, I don't care that I was Dawn or Lucas in PLA. Like, that didn't mean anything to me.
Yeah, Chris with a K is the first female playable character from Crystal. I love her. Lyra, hashtag not my Gen 2 female protagonist. <laughs> that is an imposter. Yeah, Cacturn, I completely agree. No more. F I don't ever want to see the word isekai ever again. <laughs> Just give me a fully original character. You know what would be you know would be really hilarious if you were like an ancestor of Trevor or Tierno <laughs> or Shauna. <laughs> oh man, that would be. You know they're gonna show up somewhere. I'm I'm scared. <laughs> We will dance once again. Don't give them ideas. <laughs> but like, they will be there, right? I feel like all the Gen 6 annoying twer twerp squad will be back. Yeah, I can't imagine they're gonna go for another twist villain like Volo. Say you're not new to Pokemon, but they gotta hold your hand. You're like five years old and stupid. They gotta they gotta hold your hand, even though. We all played <laughs> Pokemon blew up in Gen 1 where they didn't do that shit at all. I guess you had the old man. I guess there was a tutorial in Gen 1. It was old man Jenkins showing you how to catch a Pokemon. And then they made that five billion times worse in Fire Red and Leaf Green. <laughs> They'll improve them seeing how SV companions were well received. How long have they been working on PLZA? The, see, that's the problem with the, with all these Pokemon games. Games take years to develop, so they've probably been working on PLZA for at least a little while now. How long do they have to even like see feedback before jumping into the next project? There's been a lot of fanfare because the Elite Four is showing up in the anime soon. Also, Claude Sire is very big. <laughs> I saw an image of like anime Claude Sire next to Rika, and that's a big boy. It's awesome how they can't ever scale anything properly, so it's hard to tell that Claude Sire is a ginormous Pokemon if you just played Scarlet and Violet.
Claude. <laughs> that makes me think of Peridot from Steven Universe. You, Claude! Twenty three sixty five. The Sire. It is the Sire. I want to know about their movie. Also, we know they're working on more, uh, Concierge. That's probably been my favorite Pokemon thing that they've, uh, favorite Pokemon show movie thing that they've worked on in, like, a very long time? Oh, it's just a delight. If you haven't seen Pokemon Concierge chat, you should. It's very short, it's cute. You can probably binge all four episodes in one sitting. They're not very long. It's lighthearted. It's well made. I recommend. No! <laughs> Talk about don't give him any ideas. <laughs> Talk about not giving him any ideas. Emma Watson? Why her? <laughs> what has she been in lately? The last thing I can think of her being in was that awful live-action Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, and then they cancel it exactly. <laughs> it is the Netflix way. It is the Netflix way. That had a two-season order. That was ordered for two seasons right up front, so that's why there's a season two. Just an FYI. Fun fact. Yes, it did. HBO Max, or whatever they're called now, ordered two seasons up front. Which I don't know what compelled them to want to order two seasons, but they did. <laughs> the last Airbender movie? Because it's so bad. My favorite part of the last Airbender movie is the scene in the village with all the uh, Earthbenders. And it takes like a group of seven men to lift one rock. <laughs> Holy shit, that's- to me, that's cinema. <laughs> to me, that's cinema right there. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed. It's always funny to me when YouTubers obviously have a deadline for a sponsor. Literally, Curtis Connor, Drew Gooden, and Danny Gonzalez put out videos today with Opera as a as a sponsor. <laughs> but Drew put up a video about 
Netflix missed the point of Avatar. It sure did. Between rapid cuts back and forth. The one thing I like about the last Airbender movie is the actress that plays Princess Yue. She's great. She vo she voices Asami too, I think. That's Asami's voice actress. She was like the one good thing for that movie, so they brought her back to voice to voice Asami. You're from the Northern Air Temple. <laughs> also, uh, the the actress that plays Katara in that movie is the same actress from uh, God. Is it Transformers Four? It's that scene where uh, Mark Wahlberg, the the boyfriend, tells Mark Wahlberg about the uh, Texas pedophile law or whatever. That's the same actress. Fun fact. It's a movie where T.J. Miller gets, like, nuked. And that's that was actually really funny and based of Michael Bay to do that. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I probably sound like a fucking crazy person. <laughs> Everybody knows that weird transformer scene, right? Oh. It's when it's when Wahlberg took over for after Shia. Man, y'all gotta get get into like more YouTube videos. Watch, go watch like old shows or something. Don't watch Velma chat. Don't do it. Literally, do anything else with your time, <laughs> please. <laughs> it's not worth it. Go paint. Go, go play a game. Go. Go watch grass grow. Literally all more productive things. <laughs> I, re I heard that in the Spongebob fish voice. I get it already! Or was that Plankton who said that? I get it already! Yeah, it's it's always like every time thing bad come out, like I ha the amount of Kung Fu Panda four videos I've seen in my feed lately. <laughs> like, yeah, uh huh. Movie not very good. Or like a live action Avatar. <laughs> Drew's like a late a month late to the party of like nonstop Avatar live action bad videos. Yeah, the Mega Mind sequel is bad. I get it. Sometimes it, all it takes is just one look, and it's like, oh yeah, I understand. I get it. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Thing bad. Sponsored by Bitter Help. I saw a big Pokemon YouTuber. People were calling him out in the comments. He deleted all the comments and apparently turned his comment section off. What a cool thing to do.
That's awesome how people just care about money. <laughs> they don't care about peddling a bad product to their audience. How epic and cool. Or that god-awful, like, stupid sippy cup water bottle. What is that called that, like, a million YouTubers have tried to sell lately? And it's just a plastic water bottle. Man, don't pay attention to those types of people either, chat. Free yourself from the shackles of paying attention to worthless wastes of oxygen like that guy. Air up, yes. That is the one, Midnight. Somebody did like a video about that. It's it's literally just like a plastic bottle that does nothing. And then it's funny because clearly their contract states that they have to hold it in the video. If you ever watch a YouTuber and they're promoting Air Up, watch them. They're gonna have to hold the bottle. It clearly says in their contract that they have to hold the bottle awkwardly. Yeah, I think so, Justin, yeah. <laughs> Subscription services are all a scam, man. Unless it's Twitch Prime. That's totally 100% worth it. But if it's anything else, then it's a scam. <laughs> oh. It's just like, you, it's like buying a printer where you have to keep buying ink cartridges. Pinky the bear. Tyler's been playing an old Animal Crossing game. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be the biggest hater of all time. He was telling me that he couldn't get Tom Tom Nook to give him a shovel. He's been playing the game for days and still hasn't had access to a shovel. Animal Crossing games, have, have they ever been good? <laughs> that seems like uh, not a good game, actually. If a game can't give you access to fundamental tools to play the game, is it a good game? The family. The 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 Booper Legion. Slow burn, yeah, yeah. Do you mean slowly bad? So it's a game for slug people? <laughs> people with slug brains? Oh boy, busy work, the game, how exciting. You're not selling it to me, chat. If I want to play a good game, I'll go play like... Stardew Valley. <laughs> A game that's slow as shit. Yeah, like, I'm not buying the slow burn thing. <laughs> it's just like, you have to- to enjoy Starfield, you have to play 56 hours of it. The new DLC. I'm in a tough spot with the Stardew stuff, like... I've been on my original file where I had perfection. And I've discovered a lot of new things, but also 
he recommends starting a new farm, and I don't know if I really want to do that. So, do I look up the spoiler log and see all the new things, or do I start a new farm? Like, I have the scepter that tra transports me home. I have all Iridium tools. I have the the awesome uh, Goblin Forge sword. Like, I don't want to have to get all that over again. I think I can, but I'm not gonna come across it, like, organically. If that makes any sense. Like, I went and checked with Key, and my perfection is not perfection anymore. <laughs> I needed to make an- I have a new recipe I have to make. There's a new book system, there's trinkets in the game. I'm in spring. So I get to do... I think I'm one day away from doing the new desert. There's something new in the desert that I can go find, which is cool. I'm glad they put more stuff in the desert. There's a tree in Cindersap Forest that I don't really know what to do with. It looks like there's like a new character. See, like, I want to kind of look it up to know what I'm supposed to do, but I also don't. Like, I found Grandpa's secret shack. I did find Grandpa's secret shack. Yeah, Shaman just responds. Yep. Yeah, Grandpa's sh secret shack is kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, shaman resets go pretty quick. Twenty-four seventy. Ooh. Yeah, it'd be nice if they could tweak the way Pokemon followed you for sure. Oh, there were a bunch of new achievements added as well to Stardew. Once that I I've done. Hold on, I'm gonna look at the list again. I've put 510 hours into Stardew Valley. <laughs> I have 39 of 49 achievements. Okay. Like some of these I've done, like their new achievements. An unforgettable soup, delight the governor. Two thumbs up, see a movie. Infinite power, obtain the most powerful weapon. Perfection, reach the summit. Yeah, there's an achievement called Good Neighbors. Help your forest neighbors grow their family. Hmm. What that? What that, though? That's that tree that's in Cinder Sap where I'm like, what is this? Ugh, Stardew Valley is such a... <laughs> My farm is great, by the way. Log I logged back on and I'm like, wow, I really put... 100% into this farm. <laughs> I put 100% into Ginger Island, too. Our Gold Soul Silver had the best following Pokemon system? I agree, honestly. <laughs> it really was the best.
Wish you had tried Club Penguin back when it existed. I had a friend who had a Club Penguin account, so I played it with her in middle school. So I have a tiny, itty-bitty bit of nostalgia for it, but I never had my own account. I was always a Neopets girly. I still am. I'm loyal to Queen Fiora. I should stream a tour of my farm. That game is a widescreen game. Like, I'd have to make it 1080p, which I would hate. I don't know if Donkey did, like... I didn't watch the video, but I'm not sure he would be the greatest messenger of Neopets. <laughs> I'm not sure he would be the, the most accurate source on, like... Is Neopets good? I don't know, was he in the trenches in the Altador Cup going super hard to try to get... ...all the games of UU Ball for Darg and Citadel? The beta Neopets? Neopets does have some great betas. <laughs> Neopets does have some very fun betas. The Buzz, which is one of my favorite Neopets, was literally just a floating eyeball. Some Neopet betas were just humans? Twelve hours. <laughs> wheel of Monotony. Yeah, Neopets has like five different types of wheels. There's the Wheel of Excitement, there's the Wheel of Knowledge, there's uh, the Wheel of Monotony. What's the, what's the name of the... The Wheel of Misfortune. That's the worst wheel. There's the Wheel of Extravagance. Wheel of Mediocrity. The snow wager is up, by the way, Tyler. <laughs> the best thing about the wheel that spins for 12 hours is that it can land on a jump scare. It can land on a Neopets pterodactyl making a very loud noise in a black screen. All right, 2400. The big 2400. Not shiny. It's not shiny. Mm -hmm. Yu-Gi-Oh was a manga originally. And then it was transformed into a show. And rest in peace, Kazuki Takahashi. Makes me sad every time I think about it. Console games! Like, I had Eternal Duel of Soul. That's my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh game for the GBA. Or, yeah. Game Boy Advance. Never played Forbidden Memories. Forbidden Memories was made before the show even came out, so it's very weird. You have like star signs and stuff in Forbidden Memories. Forbidden Memories music kind of goes hard though. Oh yeah, Forbidden Memories is very clunky. It's kind of charming, though. A lot of speedrunners are very attracted to FM. There's mods where you can get multi-card drops. You could get, like, Meteor Black Dragon, Blue Eyes, etc, etc, easier. Because your odds in that game are dreadful. 
Which Pokemon game has the least content? Are we talking like main main titles or like side games? The whole catalog? Hmm. Hello. That's a good question. Red and blue, X and Y. I could see cases for both. Yeah, at the end of Red and Blue, you can, what, catch legendary birds, I guess, and go catch Mewtwo? What can, what's the post-game of X and Y? <laughs> like, Friend Safari? Pinball? Hey, Ruby Sapphire Pinball? That's goaded. Stark Diamond and Pearl are kind of dull. Like you get Heatran, I guess. As far as post game goes, of course. Post game of Ruby Sapphire. Rayquaza. <laughs> Rayquaza. Going to the Sky Tower. Uh, going into... Meteor Falls and getting, like, Bagon. Yeah, Ruby Sapphire don't have a whole lot. Post-game. That was in Ruby Sapphire. What was? Rayquaza's in Ruby Sapphire. What are you talking about? Yes! Rayquaza didn't just come to exist in Emerald. You never played them, Tyler. Who are you, even? <laughs> I need you to download a copy of Ruby right now. <laughs> I need you to go over to, like, ROM Paradise, peruse the sections, and download Pokemon Ruby right this instant. I mean, Giratina was just in a cave before Platinum. Why? This shouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> there was no Wallace or anything, so you could just go to the Sky Pillar after you were done with all the story stuff, and you just have to bike your way through all the obstacles, then you can get Ray. Or you could, if you were a child like me, uh, when Ruby Sapphire came out, you could you could try for infinite amount of times to see Mirage Island. <laughs> Mirage was in both, right? Ruby Sapphire and Emerald. I've lost I lost count of how many times I went to that old man's hut. Do you see Mirage Island? No. You can't get through if you're a blind person. Yeah, that would be very difficult. 
It's difficult with full sight. You have to do some trick turn, some really tight turns with the bike in there in Sky Tower. Sky Pillar, Sky Tower. Ray's, Ray Ray's home. I loved those puzzles. Gen 3 had a lot of puzzles that I loved. I really liked the, uh, the trick house, too. See, as a kid, I remember getting, like, a rare candy from a tr from the trick house, and I was like, whoa, what a cool reward. <laughs> That's crazy, a rare candy! That's a free level! I was blown away. Yeah. <laughs> Big difference. That shows you how rare candies are essentially worthless <laughs> nowadays. I mean, even you have to remember, like, this was before the XP share was just... You had to seek out the XP share back in the day. It wasn't something they automatically just had on. You had to... <laughs> Back in my day, you had to earn those levels. I hate I have a core memory of looking for Chansey and Crystal because there's an NPC that will trade you Chansey for an Aerodactyl. And so I just have a core memory of being- I think it was an Uno's. <laughs> it's so specific that I remember the restaurant I was in. I have a core memory of just looking for the like 5% whatever Chansey in that grass so I could trade for Aerodactyl. My beloved Aerodactyl. The animation for Rock Slide in Gen 2 was so good. I don't know what it is about rocks. Like, even the strength boulder in Gen 2 just looked good. <laughs> You like the XP system now? I see our- I, I understand arguments both ways. Like, I understand why some people would like to turn it off. I don't understand why people who express wishing that they could be able to turn it off get so much vitriol. But, I, yeah, it's... You know, especially if you want to have a full team of six. It can be very annoying. And in like Gen 2, it takes a. You have to get all the way to, to Red Gyarados. You have to get all the way to Shiny Gyarados, Lake of Rage. And then you have to take it back to Mr. Pokemon to get the XP share. It's exciting to get. I like getting the XP share in old games. Like, I remember how to get it very well. Like, going back to. To Steven's dad and getting the XP share in Gen 3 is is always pretty exciting. But I understand why... It was simplified the way that it is. I don't know, sometimes I'm torn. Like, yeah, getting it was satisfying. Talk about, you know, how items in Pokemon kind of mean nothing anymore. Nothing satisfying to get. But also... 
you know, I don't need my Pokemon games to be brutally difficult to have a good time. Like, I don't mind the XP share and boosting all my guys. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's a, it's another thing where it's like, I... <laughs> I get it why it's such a difficult thing. Like, how do you approach that as a game designer? What's up, Normal Shrub? The raid-style large health bar approach is a better approach to making longer boss fights. Yeah, I didn't mind the Titans in, in Scarlet and Violet. I feel like they were... They were kind of the only thing that could maybe be a little bit difficult, because the gym challenge certainly is not... I mean, people remember when a game kicks your ass. People still bring up Whitney to this day. <laughs> Even though she wasn't hard, skill issue. Like, people will bring up Ultra Necrozma, which I thought was a whack-ass flop battle, but people are like, it was so cool, he was so tough. People remember when games kick your ass. <laughs> That fight just happens out of nowhere in, like, a room. A random room. It's like, what do you- why is this Pokemon even here? What does this have to do with anything? Ugh, I hate Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Or, I think a better example of that- of- I think the Ultra Necrozma fight done way better is Volo's fight. I think Volo was a great boss. You fight through his team, it's like, oh, they're playing the Cynthia music, he's the bad guy, 24-24, by the way. And you beat him and you're like, okay, great. But wait, there's more. It's Tina time. That was awesome. I liked Volo's fight a lot. It was tough. It had atmosphere. It was a good twist villain. I mean, a lot of the PLA bosses were kind of tough. Arceus took me 40 minutes before I could get the fight down. I don't know how, like, that fight would be tough for, for kids. Yeah, I love how they made Volo just a weird, like, religious Arceus fanatic freak. Extremely funny. Very funny. He kind of reminds me of, uh, Reverse Flash. Because Reverse Flash was just a really big fan of... The Flash. He's like a twisted fanboy. That's what Volo is. Volo is a twisted Arceus fanboy. Then there's that one bit of dialogue where Kogito, like, roasts him. 
She's like, you don't ever contribute anything or something like that along the lines of like Volo never contributes or does anything. It's like, <laughs> yes, cook him. Get that fraud. Yeah, the the raids are the raids are so boring. What's up, to struggle? What's up, Zilver? Volo's the best boss fight we've had in quite a while. I-M-O. I, I liked the Koraidon and Miraidon boss fight, but I also remember testing that fight and they, they kind of just hand it to you. Like, they, they restrict you in that fight. I can't remember exactly the way they do it, but I remember that fight being... Like, it, it felt scripted. I don't want fights to feel scripted. I want to feel immersed, not like the game is going to prevent me from losing or doing something funny. <laughs> scripted like that awful quiz that Rika gives you before the Elite Four. You get to sleep in tomorrow? Nice. I'm still many thousands away from hitting odds. Being failed. It's up on YouTube. My whole playthrough should be in a playlist. If you ever want to see. I was- I think I was I well no, I don't think I know. I was irate. <laughs> I stand by that being stupid as hell, by the way. Like, my opinion on that buffoonery has not changed. I got all eight badges, lady. Get the hell out of my way. Yeah, Getsus was a good boss, boss fight too, but Gen 5 was a long time ago. Ugh. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I definitely agree. Gets this was a good fight. At least in black and white. Old Dennis. That whole finale sequence in black and white is so well done. Getsus did earn his boss fight music, 100%. Not fraud, Chairman Rose. <laughs> like you, the the whole presentation of like the castle, the Elite Four, and Gen Five. It's so well done. It's so well done. The castle rising up, and then. You get to explore it. Like, you beat the Elite Four. So you, you know, you feel like... Where's the champion? I did it. And then the castle rises up and you get to explore it. And you can go into End's creepy little kid's room. And it's like, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I 
Yeah, the gym leaders show up. The lake trio. They do have a good theme, I agree. And and then you get to the you get to the end and you fight N. Or you you catch you, you, first of all N is like, "Oh, I thought you were the chosen one. I guess I was wrong." And then Reshi Ram or Zakrom pops up and it's like, "No, bitch. I am the chosen one." And you get to catch Reshiram or Zekrom in front of N, and then you fight N. Oh my god. Black and white are goaded. And then Getsis comes in and is reveals that... He thinks N is a freak and a loser. <laughs> and then you fight Getsis and Alder and Callum. Not Callum. Why did I say Callum? I always- Sharon, 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 uh -huh. Sharon. Alder and Sharon take Getsis away. And you walk towards the the hole in the, the castle from where Reshiram came in, or Zekrom. And you walk towards N and you have your little conversation. And it cuts to that close-up shot of N's face. And then the cr the end credits hits and that music starts. Oh my god. That's my goat right there. That's my goat. That's my favorite ending to any Pokemon game of all time. That just hits so hard. And then the credits music is such a banger. And it shows you the cutscene of N flying on his dragon. Oh. Oh my god. You could feel the heart and the soul in those games. You could feel the heart and the soul and all the effort and the planning that went into the story and the dialogue. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I love black and white too, but... In my mind, like, black and white's ending is just, like, great. Yeah, the thought of that cutscene being done in this awful My Sims chibi style makes me sick to my stomach. <laughs> the thought of seeing N walk down the hallway in the My Sims style legitimately makes me ill. <laughs> that- that is sickening. Disgusting. That is why I'm perfectly fine that Gen 5 was not mentioned in the presents. I'm okay with that. They'll probably come back at a later date and ruin it, but at least I'm safe today. <laughs> Ugh, the credits muse. Unwavering emotions. I got to hear that get orchestrated live, chat. Oh, Five is so good. Gen 5 so good. Gen 5? So good. consensus on Kalos. Gen 6 has always been one of my least favorite gens. I like Kalos as a region, but the story... the Gen 1 pandering... Rancid. I 
I also think Gen 6 is one of the easiest Pokemon games. And I think outside of a few good character designs like Serena, the game has really lacking character design. A lot of the gym leaders are bland and forgettable. Sky battles were dreadful. Your obnoxious group of friends is rancid. Lysander is terrible. Team Flare is the worst team that they've ever made. Yeah, Diantha's a, a like she's pretty, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Diantha's got nothing going on. Sycamore, like it, it's almost hinted that Sycamore and Diantha could have more going on, and they just don't. Everybody just puts up with Lysander's weird freak speeches, and nobody ever questions him. It's so bizarre. It's like an alien wrote Gen Six. Somebody who just has no knowledge of, like, how humans interact with each other. And then Callum is like, both sides are right, actually. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> I need to play through Gen 6 just to see Callum say both sides are right, because that is absolutely mental. Yeah, like, the emotional song in Gen 5 hits so hard, and they try to do something similar with 6, and it just flops. Like, I'm supposed to care that this weird, freaky, immortal giant got his little guy back? You have, like, one or two conversations with him. And the, the thing that always gets me, too, is it's like a parade, right? At the end of Gen 6, you get a parade, and all your dopey-ass, worthless friends are there. And what do they contribute? Nothing! It should be me, and only me, on that stage. Get Cal- get out- get Danson, get Trevor, Coconut Head, get them out of here. They contributed nothing. <laughs> they do not deserve this parade. I want them gone. Ugh, chat, you're making me want to play Gen 6 again. <laughs> yeah, chunk, chunk and Coconut Head. And they even try to, like, fo remember the nickname stuff? They try to force a nickname on you, and it's just like, I don't know you people. What, what is this? The complete turnaround to how natural your friends feel in Gen 9 versus how they feel in Gen 6. Night and day difference. Big D. <laughs> Newly appointed friends. I should do like a counter of how many times they say friends or friendship or how many times Lysander says something like weirdly racist. <laughs> what even is like like what what even is Lysander's like? He feels an ist, but I don't know which one. Boringest. Real. And then he gets that random, like... <laughs> it's funny, I was talking about Curtis Connor earlier. He, he uploaded a video today that's like wearing weird technology. It's like, oh, it's Lysander. I tried weird vintage technology. 
Oh, it's Lysander. That's Lysander. What does this even do for you, weirdo? <laughs> Yeah, it's like they tried to go for, like, a France fashion, like, Paris fashion thing. But it feels very half-assed, like... I don't... I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah, and then why does he have Mega Gyarados? I don't... F First of all, I don't like Mega Gyarados. Gyarados is one of the coolest Pokemon of all time, and they turn it into a fat little goofy shrimp. Bad. <laughs> and then second of all, I, I feel like it just doesn't fit his aesthetic. Coffee Holic with the raid! Thank you, thank you. What's up, everybody? We're shiny hunting Shaman. Lysander has a bunch of neat- the, all the- all the ladies, the admin ladies, that have like the shutter shades are pretty cool. But that's- that's his- that's the nicest thing I can say. Barely any NPCs with Megas. Yeah, that's so dumb. Like, you have this- this new feature that they were clearly putting lots of marketing into. And then barely anybody except for, like, the ch outside of a handful of important NPCs ever Mega Evolve. I think Mega Evolution really appeals to the Shonen crowd. All the people on Twitter that have like Goku as their as their I icons. <laughs> it didn't start with generational gimmicks in Gen Six. Maybe the uh, maybe there's that that image of the <laughs> Utopia. <laughs> Where there's, like, green grass and flying cars and it's a paradise. I could just emulate Gen 5. If I played through Gen 6 chat, what would you want to see? Would you want to see vanilla? Would you want to see... a randomizer? I could drag Tyler in and do a race? Would a vanilla race be interesting? I don't know. Any of those? I would probably play X. X is the one I played originally and Y I played a few years ago. Randomizer would be funny. Vanilla. Vanilla. I mean, nobody says I have to play Gen 6 once and then never touch it before PLZA. So we could definitely do Vanilla. And then maybe closer to PLZA, we could do a Randomizer. Only one time. Well, I'd I'd think you were looking out for me because Gen, Gen Six is is kind of clunk. <laughs> yeah, you wanna you wanna do vanilla, Tyler? We could do vanilla. What starter would you take? You can't take uh, whatever you took originally. You have to take something different. I took. Froakie, so I, I'm gonna take Fennekin now. 
Chespin, you can't take Chespin. I'm disallowed. You have to take the one of the others. You took Fennekin? Really? I kind of want you to take Froki. <laughs> Isn't breathing so it just looks dead? I'm going to have to look out for that one. Looks like most people would prefer vanilla. Ooh, who else could I put on my team? That's vanilla's always fun because I get to ponder who I haven't used before that I could put on my team. I will probably unironically use fur frow. I've used clef key. Hmm. What about Go Goat? I can certainly tell you, Chad, that I've never used Go Goat. I could try to be a faux Gita. I could I could bring out uh, Go Goat and Avalug. <laughs> I've used Halucha. I've used Gudra. I've used Aegislash. We should both use Furfrow, Tyler, and get different cuts. Ooh, Barbarical and Dragalgy or Skrelp would be fun. I'm Barbarical's strongest soldier, but I have never really used it before. We can just play it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a race. Vanilla as in no mods or randomizers or anything very different. Just vanilla as in basic as the game is sold and intended to be played. I have used Meow Stick, yes. Let me look at the Gen 6 decks real quick. I mean, the race thing is only, like, to get viewers. <laughs> how how do I market to people playing just casual playthrough? Oh. Oh, I know who I'm going to put on my team. Oh, excellent. I know. <laughs> I'm going to put chat's favorite Pokemon on my team. This will be great. I love looking up a Dex and it's just somebody's like fan art. Aromatis. Ha 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 ha. Uh, I've used Tyrantrum. But I could do Aurorus. Think. Could do Carving. Man, Gen 6's Pokedex is so small, chat. I don't have a lot of options here. <laughs> Half of these I've used. Like, I had Malamar. Oh, man. You, Sylveon. Udra, Noivern. Jeez, that's such a ridiculously small Pokedex. Carpic is pointless. <laughs> yeah, I would not mind using Mowile. Mowile. Hoopa? Where do you get Hoopa? I mean, I could. I put Volcanion on my Ultra Moon team. There's... 
I, I don't have to be stopped by conventional. <laughs> yeah, the same place I got Volcanion. The same place. Machamps.com. They gave Arceus a baby. If Arceus ever got a baby, I would want it to be like a biblically accurate angel where it just was like an abomination of eyeballs and wings and maybe some gold rings. Ow, my hand. I like Hoopa though. I do, I do remember having Hoopa Unbound. I didn't use it much, but I do remember it. There's a few other mythicals I could swoosh onto the team. What megas could I use? Mobile. Where do you get Aer where does Aerodactyl where do you get Aerodactyl in Gen 6? I do not remember. Although then I'd have to use Rock Chin. <laughs> I'd have to use Rocky Chin. Yeah, rip all the McDonald's Wi-Fi mythicals. Yeah, Megastones are post-game. I mean, we can fix that. I can fix that. I don't think I want to use Lucario. <laughs> Ugh, I hate Karina. Hope everybody's ready for me to be disgusted when I see Karina. Literally just a blonde skater girl. She doesn't look like Lucario. She has no vibe. She is sauceless. I can get old amber and glittering cave. I've used Aerodactyl so much though. <laughs> I have used Aerodactyl so, so much. Every time I do these vanilla playthroughs, it's a, ch it's a chance to use a Pokemon I've never used before. <laughs> Yeah, Wolf- Ramos and Wolfric. The fact that I dedicate space in my brain to remembering those bozos' names. Oh, jeez, Tyler. Ramos is good, actually. Pop off my boy Ramos. Olympia is the best Gen 6 gym leader. People really like Valerie, but she kind of scares me. She looks like a freak. <laughs> I don't like her eyes. Why does she look like that? Like, the dollhouse gym is fun. I like the design of the gym and the fairy types, but... Why does she have to have such spooky ass eyes? Yeah, she kind of is like a <laughs> she's she's a little too dedicated. The the black bug eyes she has are kind of scary. I think, uh, you can also put the bug gym leader in Gen 6 as one of the blandest gym leaders of all time, by the way. I literally cannot remember her name. The one with the camera. She's a flop. I 
I, all the, all the, the only character that takes pictures that's good is Todd. The rest of them are all flops. Here's a woman with her traditional looking camera. She likes to take pictures. Wow, what a thrilling personality trait. Viola. I could have sat here and gotten shame into 10,000 before I would have remembered her name. And she has a sister. That's the only thing about her I remember. Like Bugsy, Berg. They own that fraud. I'll have to take a look at what spawns on some of the routes. I don't even remember what's X exclusive. <laughs> it's been too long. Pokemon X exclusives. Charizard X, Staryu, Starmie, Pinsir, Mewtwo X, Xerneas, Houndour, Houndoom, Pooch, Mightyena, Agron. Oh shit, I've used Agron a lot. Sock. Swirlix, my goat. And, uh, Crelauncher. Uh, maybe Crelauncher. I dunk on that Pokemon. Maybe I should finally use it. I mean, it's fine. I say I dunk on it. I think it's kind of forgettable, but that's it. And then Y gets Cloyster, Heracross. Mewtwo Y, Charizard Y, Evital, Electric, 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 Manetric, Purloin Lipard, Tyranitar Line, Throw, Aroma T, Syndragolgy. Hmm. Interesting. Didn't they take down the uh, internet for the 3DS? I was like, we'll do a. I'll, I'll get to like 2,500, but this hundred's taken a while. Agron. I do love Agron. And then I'd get to hear its delightful cry all the time. It's. All right, we made it to 80. 2480 All right, you ready? <laughs> Who's that, chat? I'll give you a hint. It is a recent gen. It's a favorite of mine. Okay, not nine, chat. A re recent as in gen eight and nine. It's from eight. Do 
Could it be the Snom? Actually, that was Frost Moth, I think. I want to say that was actually Frost Moth. <laughs> I can't replay the sound, so it's always like, well, you get one shot. I think that was Frost Moth. Yep, it was Frost Moth. Here, if you want to hear it again, that would be Frost Moth. Twenty-four eighty-three. Do I do I partake in the in the bab, the shiny babs for Easter chat for the outbreak event? <laughs> Do I try to get like a a mag B with a with a mark or something? Easter is this week. Only a let kid. <laughs> Only a let kid. Hey, I got Electa Buzz yesterday. It is a certifiable friend of the stream. It actually was a sign. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. Zoinks. Ugh, I did the Easter event in Stardew Valley, and I was off my game. I lost to Abigail. She even asked me if I th if she's too old to be doing the egg hunt. I should have said yes. I don't know why I was nice to that woman. Deep shame. <laughs> Letting Abigail beat you in the egg race is in the egg hunt is truly shameful. I almost- I almost saved scum. That's how much it bothered me. <laughs> I'm washed. My gamer skills evaporated. Twenty-four eighty-eight. Twenty four eighty nine. Shiny hunting shaman might make time go by faster than like <laughs> any other shiny hunts. I can't believe it's almost been three hours. So it takes it takes a few hours to get a couple hundred shaman down.
All right, Chad, if you had... Blah, 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 shots to get Shaman Shiny. I did not mean to know. Oh, God. <laughs> My game is still bugged, by the way. Did I say that? It's always Smoochum. I have to go to Sand Gem and reset it. Isn't that... Isn't that sad? <laughs> isn't that sad? I don't even know what happened. Why did that happen? Why is it just permanently stuck on Smoochum? Yeah, is it because I changed the date when I play S SV? I have no idea. Yeah, and like, f fuck them for that. Can I just say the fact that they're so strict with ta changing time in BDSP? Is it because it's a Unity game? Assholes. Like, what is wrong with them? Every time I think about how, how strict they are in, the, in this game over that, it's like, fuck you guys. <laughs> what, what a nasty, like, mean-spirited, no-good, very bad decision. I'll never forget trying to get Phil in the, uh... mud safari- the awful safari zone in this game. And thinking that I could just turn the time, the clock, and it would... it would happen, and- but no, I got punished instead! How dare I? No f no carnivine for you. I got Phil anyway. Nuts nuts to you, Elka. This island is so small, I like to imagine Shaman just kind of like plops behind behind this little hill here and just sits there. Phil, Phil, Phil of the future. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah, imagine how much it sucks if you have allergies. <laughs> uh. Hard to multitask between consoles. See, here's the thing. I see people doing like five different shiny hunts and then playing PLA shiny hunting at the same time. It's like, how are you doing this? I literally had this conversation with Tyler the other day. Like, if you're automating, then you're just a fucking- you're a fraud, is what you are. What's the point? If you're automating everything, you're a fraud. If you're not, like, how are you- how are you playing five games at once? I just don't get it. What's the lore? What's the sauce? Like, if you're not even playing the game, then... <sighs> I got a shiny mint- I'm shiny maxing. Yeah, I- I don't know, Tyler. It's a true mystery to me. And then if you're streaming, you have to pay attention to chat, unless you have a dead chat. So, like, what's... What's going on?
All right, Chad, if you had one shot to get a mint toothpaste colored shaman, would you take it? Or would you walk away? I'm holding the A button. This is time. No, it's not. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Is there any point of me saving? I don't know. Well, that was many hundreds of shamans. Oh. <sighs> Can't hunt Zygarde, Groudon, Kyogre. I know, it's such a shame Deoxys is also locked. I'd love to get Deoxys at some point, chat. I really would. I really, really would. But it's locked. That stinks. I think that stinks. I still have the X and Y Pokedex up. Yeah, I really do need to get Zygarde, don't I? I'll work on Zygarde at some point, chat. At some point. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for hanging out tonight, everybody. I appreciate it. Thanks for all the resubs, the follows, the raids. Okay, well, I have to figure out why Bidoof- why Stream Elements- OBS just updated, that's probably why. But yeah, check out the Discord. If you're new here, you can share your own shinies. Shout out to the YouTube viewers, I appreciate y'all. And yeah, I'll definitely get to working on, uh, getting a layout for X and Y chat. I think I will. Why not? I don't know what time next week I'll- Or will- what time I want to get that set up, but I'll work on it. But we have the Easter Outbreak event next week, so that'll be fun, even if I have all the babs, but... Yeah, thanks for chilling tonight, everybody! We'll have- we'll, I'll keep doing Shaman Sunday until we get it, I guess. But yeah, have a good night, everybody. Bye! <laughs>